Yo yo, we are back in After Effects And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this Door 5 ending effect inside of After Effects I actually done this effect on an AFZ music video And it looks super dope So this is how you create this So firstly, in my timeline, you can see I have the clip right here To do the effect And to do this effect, we'll be using an overlay that I found on YouTube I randomly found this cool overlay inside of YouTube So I'll link it in the description if you wanna download it's it's really cool so we will be using this to create the effect so firstly let's just duplicate our footage and just rotoscope out our subjects and all of the things on the foreground like these person the cars the main character and the road as well so firstly let's just rotoscope them out now you can see i pretty much rotoscope them out so what we're gonna do is now just freeze our rotoscope so it will lock in our rotoscope and get it ready to add some effects in it and after that go back into your composition panel and just duplicate the footage and delete the rotoscope from the bottom layer and it will turn into a normal footage now so now let's just drag in our overlay that we got and you can see our overlay is in here we just gotta like drag it around to get the to the timing that we like so something like like this yeah that's a good timing right there you can see our file is in there but it's like completely messed up so firstly let's just hide our rotoscope layer and firstly we're gonna remove the black the black areas to do that you might think you can just change the blending mode to linear dodge or something like that and you would be done but i don't like to do that way because it removes all the like the contrasty black tones on the fire before getting more into the video i just want to let you know i just dropped my ultimate 3d title bundle which comes with my latest pack 3d decks and title preset and one of my og pack the 3d title pack you already know the bundle allows you to add some crazy titles for your music video in just few clicks and also when you buy the bundle it's 28 dollar off so it's a steal for real i'll link it in the description if you want to check it out back to the video to do that we're gonna use a luma key and just bring up the threshold of it to something like this yeah that looks pretty good right there you can mess with the feather a bit then after that to change the color you can use like a vc vibrance it's a free plugin so make sure to grab it and use that and a green tone like this on it and and, and lastly on it our optical go and you can just bring up the radius of the optical go lower down the amount bring up the radius so something like that go to alpha channel set to extend it on more so there your all of the black should go away and you would get something like this we can play with the luma key more if you like so something like this and now we're gonna duplicate this layer again and delete the luma key from it and we're gonna just set it as screen so we have two layers stacked up in each other because if we did like straightly on screen it will look like really like transparent but if we add like all of those effects on the bottom it won't look that much like transparent if that makes sense then now we can pick on both of these layers together and it will turn into black again don't worry about that we can just add a lot all more to remove it's from universe or if you don't have universe you can use like a preset that comes with after effects called all mold but now we have the fire band ready to go maybe i'll scale it up a little bit and put it a bit down yeah something like that so now we'll start adding the depth that we want so firstly let's just enable our rotoscope layer first and it should look something like that don't worry about it we're gonna fix it now so now we're gonna make a max to separate the back and the front so now take a pen tool and start making a max and start making a max according to your footage something like this all the things on the foreground and you can also animate the max however you like so something like this on it so something like this max would look cool on it maybe we're gonna extend the, the in here so yeah i think this is a cool max right here we're gonna bring up the feather to blend it more and now we're gonna enable our rotoscope layer duplicate our pre-comp and put one above our rotoscope layer and we're gonna name it the front and for the another one we're gonna name it the back one so for the back duplication all you gotta do is hit amino keyboard to bring up your marks and invert the marks and now if you take a look at your effect it looks so cool could have been a little better because you can see some of the fire is going through here 
maybe i'm gonna fix that real quick with the marks so something like this and you can just copy these keyframes select those keyframe paste on those keyframes so now that looks much better right there so now we're gonna add some finishing touches and finish it off so firstly i'm gonna add a channel blur onto our rotoscope layer and just go over to alpha blurriness and just bring it up a little bit to like three yeah like three looks cool to me and if you have a plugin called create light warp you can add that in here it's a free plugin so you can grab it really easily so anyways we're gonna set the background layer as the back one and in source set is as effects and max and you can just play with the width and stuff and it would give this like really cool light warp that we need don't make it like too much but we're gonna lower down the exposure yeah that looks pretty cool right there i like the way that looks so now we're gonna also add a camera lens blur onto our roto layer and just hit the stopwatch on the blur radius go a bit further and just bring it up to something like six maybe six is too much and you can copy those keyframes as well paste it on your background layer so we have like a depth of field going on gives the effect a bit more life and now to top it all off we go on pre-comp this and add a lumetri color in here and you can just play with like the thin to make it a little like a bit greenish on the tone and also you can play with like some contrast and stuff you can go to color wheels and set it to a bit greenish as well and lastly to top it all off i'll add a little shake from my shake bag i'm going to use the sd one and the best one in here and just line up the keyframe so it's like really subtle yeah that adds the energy that we want so if you want to download this shake bag it's totally dope i'll link it in the description so anyways our final effect looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this you can also follow me on instagram join my discord server all that good stuff so yeah see you in next video peace